because walking in the Spirit, that's why Paul said in Galatians uh, 5, 16, I say them walk in the Spirit and you will not fulfill or carry out the old desires of the flesh. But we have to walk in the Spirit. And the only way that we do that is what we set the affections of our mind on. And Paul tried to demonstrate that through all of his letters. And uh, we, need, we need to see that. And, and what we speak, you know, just because something crosses our mind, we don't have to take ownership of that. We, we can cast down thoughts and imaginations and every lofty thing that lifts itself up against the knowledge of God. You know, and there's always going to be the conflict between the flesh and the spirit. Even Jesus on the day of his, the, the, the eve of his crucifixion, when he said in uh, John 12, you know, for the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And he entered a garden with a handful of his uh, disciples and he took, he took a few of them with him and said, Terry here, wait here and pray with me for one hour. And he went apart from them. You know, and it says that he prayed as it were great droplets of, he sweated great droplets of blood as it were. That he was, he was under so much pressure from the temptation of the flesh. You know, as the writer of Hebrews, you know, said, you know, there are many of us that haven't resisted temptation unto the shedding of blood, you know. And we're talking about Peter, Paul, I mean, many, many of the disciples of the Lord, you know, and, and others, and others who love not their life unto the death, that that the truth of the gospel might remain with us until this day by as as he as Jesus uh, spoke to Peter before he he left him and was lifted up into the clouds you know when he 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 said Peter when you were young you went where wherever you wanted to he said but when you are old, another shall carry you where you would not. And he's talking about his, his death. And, uh, you know, it's by the Spirit of God that we're able to be strong enough to resist temptation. You know, and and, it's, and it has everything to do with what we have our minds set on. And if you're watching the secular movies and secular radio, and then you you enter into temptation, I mean, you're not going to have the strength to to walk in what is righteous. You know, you're you're going to be controlled by the flesh because that's all you're feeding. And the word of God that you may have heard on Wednesday or Sunday got choked out through all the other stuff that you either said, watched, or heard and took in. You know, so we need to put the flesh to death through the faith of Christ. I'm crucified, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but it's Christ who lives in me. So that's the, that's the faith that overcomes the world. And what we have our minds set on. This is what's going to control our life. And we need to come to an understanding of that. I'm gonna I'm gonna end this I'm gonna end this one here.